hello 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 there and welcome to my youtube channel once more my name is rudolph mensa bishop noah jones is someone that i listen to a lot i follow this ministry and i believe that he has a message for the world i was watching an interview of his and he was talking about what led to his divorce and i believe the lessons he shared in the message is something that we all need to hear and so i've sampled just a little bit of it and i want you to listen to it and i'll come back at the end i have a question that i need you to answer so please don't don't go away it's just three minutes of your time i promise you you're going to learn a lot from it this is not just for people who are into ministry if you're married no if you're planning of getting married once you're a young man a young woman who wants to get married i believe this message is for you take a listen I believe that for whatever reason you divorce, you have to repent. And I have had to repent. And I don't know if that's one of the things that's way in the back of my mind, sort of subconsciously keeping me from taking a step forward because of how I was taught. But at the, at the end of the day, I made a vow. I made a vow for better or for worse. And when you consider you're making a vow for better or for worse, who defines what worse is? And since I have been divorced and have dealt with people in various situations of their own lives, I have found that what I decided to divorce about or what broke us up was minuscule compared to what other people went through. And if I were to give you an anecdote, one of my problems is, and I really ruined my marriage in the name of God. And if you want a lesson, I give you a lesson. I I'm very ebullient, very intense about what I do because I believe you, you can't be as good as you ought to be and you can't be the best that you can be if you're not very, very intense about this job. And there's no question in my mind that I am very intense. I was totally out of balance, still am, as it relates to preaching. And, and I ruined my marriage in the name of God because she was oftentimes upset. She, we argued every time I had to leave. And I was the last person who was picked up at the airport when I got back. When I got off the plane in Little Longview, Texas, uh, they were closing the airport by the time she came to get me. I was standing with my bags. And I was completely indignant because I figured she's driving a 300, a 500 SEL. And who wants to get off a plane and not have somebody to greet him? But what I failed to understand was that she didn't want me to go so why should she hurry up to pick me up? And we were arguing all the time when I had to leave. I mean, I was so out of balance. Church on Sunday, Bible class on Monday, gone until Saturday and sometimes even Sunday morning. What I fail to understand as a novice is that there is a very thin line or a very difficult distinction between the signatures of frustration and anger. Oftentimes, anger is simply frustration. And I said, well, you were, I was a preacher when you met me. So how in the world, if the doors are opening, you will not allow me to go? And we have to have these vicious debates when I'm going to do what God has called me to do. But what I failed to understand was she did not marry a profession. She married a person. And so now my word to anybody who wants to take from this lesson is that each preacher must understand the significance of ministering to his own wife. And a wife, a pastor's wife, should never ever feel like she's got to compete with the church or the ministry for her husband's affection and attention. wow how was that and so i've come back to the question i wanted to ask you how do you balance your calling with your marriage how do you have a balanced life where you don't allow your career you don't allow your work you don't allow the things you're doing outside there to interfere with your family 
because this is an important subject for a lot of people like i said this is not about people who are into ministry alone or, or pastors or, or, or reverend or bishops no this is about everyone who is in a marriage how do you balance your career how do you go out there and then still work to make money and still make time for the people you have at home the, the family you are raising how do you find a balance if you are if you're married i want you to share with me especially young people who are listening and watching all around the world help us how do we find a balance between the things our ambitions and, and the things we pursue with our lives our career our job our businesses and with family how do we do that and stay sane in the middle of it share with me in the comment section and thank you for getting to the end of the video please if you are here kindly click on the red icon to subscribe and click on the bell icon as well that way when i upload a new video you will get a notification please join me on this journey i shall bring you motivation inspiration life lessons healthy life tips for you to live your best life until then we shall win maybe not immediately but definitely see you in the next video watch the one i've recommended here thank you and see you soon i love you